Key Covers. Welcome to the 72nd Annual Convention and Key Club International's 90th birthday right here in the home of Kiwanis, Indianapolis. My name is Gagin Lali and I serve California, Nevada, Hawaii's district as Division 26 North's Lieutenant Governor. And my name is Ruth Vakali, the immediate past district treasurer from the Craptastic Capital District. We are so excited to be delivering Key Club's inside scoop on a nightly basis. Key TV will play each night at curfew, so we've made following the rules easy and all the more pleasing. So the first day of ICON has been amazing as we come together with the entire K family, starting with the Kiwanis World Showcase. Don't forget the meet and greet where we got to reunite with old friends and make new ones. Not only did we get to enjoy the Key Club opening session, but we also got to be a part of Kiwanis International Convention's opening session as well. Let's not forget the delicious breakfast we got at the Monumental Pancake Lunch. I ate like 73 pancakes. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I got a notification on my R phone. Right, right now? Um, yeah, I just got a notification to tune into Key TV tonight on the Icon app. Well, that, that's funny considering we're on Key TV right now. Wait, did you say Icon app? We have that? Oh my gosh, yes! It keeps me updated with all the workshops, speakers, and events happening at this year's convention and connects me with other members here also. Just search 2015 Key Club Convention on the App Store. I downloaded this app two months ago and it's been keeping me posted about Icon ever since. I'm about to do that right now, but while I do that, let's take a look at what went on these last two days. As many of you know, each one of you is invited to take a tour of the Kiwanis International Headquarters. Why should you get excited about taking a tour? Well, since the Kiwanis International Headquarters opened its doors in Indianapolis in 1982, it has served as a home for fellow club members to come and rejoice on their greatest achievements. Taking a tour of the headquarters will help shed light on Kiwanis' rich history and many of its accomplishments. Every club member who walks through those double doors is inspired somehow, whether it's from watching videos about the success of Kiwanis or seeing the creative and colorful bannerets made by club members from all over the world. You'll pass the portraits of past Kiwanis Foundation and international presidents, as well as past Key Club International presidents. If you keep your eyes peeled, you might spot the picture of the very first Kiwanis Board of Trustees or the infamous Kiwanis Torch. On your way out, be sure to stop by the gift shop to pick up any items that will show off your Kiwanis appreciation. The gift shop has anything you could possibly want, including keychains, t-shirts, hats, tote bags, water bottles, and coffee mugs. Before or after your tour, make sure you check out the globe structure. The 16-foot, 5,000-pound centerpiece sits in the Children of the World Garden. If you look closely, you'll see that the children on the globe aren't holding hands. This represents the idea that as long as a child is in need, there will always be work for a volunteer like you. So, come take a tour of the Kiwanis International Headquarters and see what's in store for you. Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Giroga. And I'm Emma Johnson. And we'll be hosting the 2015 Battle of the Districts. Emma, what can we be expecting today? Well, Michelle, we're having a simple battle today. And so basically we have eight districts and we're going to see who wins. First up, we have Pennsylvania versus Capitol. Let's see what they have to say. Your district's mascot may be a crab, but you're nowhere near shellfish. Your district is so strong, that is a keystone in the Kiwanis family. Oh yeah? Well, your district is so baller, that when you look up baller in the dictionary, it says your district. Your district is so exotic that your mascot's a flamingo. We'll be back tomorrow night with another round. See you then. On Monday at my Key Club meeting, I got to give this really awesome speech. Oh, cool. So where were you yesterday? I had a service project for Key Club down at the lake. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. This one time at district convention, Barry Sang almost tripped on his way up to the stage. I don't know who that is. You don't know who Barry Sang is? Bang Bang Barry Sang? No. International trustee of Key Club International? Of 33 districts? 
Alabama, Arkansas, the Carolinas. Wow, I really love this painting. You know what I love? Key Club. Best club in the world. Pacific Northwest, Georgia, Florida, II, Eastern Iowa. Any of those. Hey, do you want to head on over to the Qantas Showcase? Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, that's so, oh. oh. Oh, she probably didn't see you. Yeah, she's probably just having a bad day. No, no worries. worries. <laughs> All right, you want to head on over? Yeah, I'd love Awesome. Wait, hey, what's up? I can't find my wallet. Um, I'm sure it'll be in there somewhere. Yeah, you're totally right. It's probably in here somewhere. Let me find it. Yeah. If you want to be his friend, you should definitely go and talk to him. Really? Yeah. Okay, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> He totally just smiled at me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess I'll see you later. See ya. She so just told me that she can't make it to the service project. She has other plans. Don't worry about it. That just means you get to do twice the service. Yeah, imagine all I can do to help. Yeah, definitely. And I'll come with you. It'll be tons of fun. We're going to make so many people happy. For sure. Let's go. Yeah. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks. Hey, could you help me with this problem? Yeah, of course. I need a volunteer to take this down to the office. Me, me, I volunteer as tribute. <clears throat> So, is your hair naturally that color? Mm -hmm. Yep. Dude, mine too. Dude, hey, let's oh, take a selfie. Yeah. Uh, this, this is oh, so yeah. selfie. All right. Evan, smile. What should we do? Hey, do you want me to do the picture for you guys? Please. You guys look awesome. I try. years old. What are the three preferred charities of Key Club International? Um, UNICEF, March of Dimes, and Children's Miracle Network. You got it! Woo! What has been your most favorite part of Key Club convention so far? I think the pin trading was really cool because you actually like I like, got to talk to a lot of people that I wouldn't have like gone up to and talked to before. Yeah, meeting all the new people for sure and hearing new ideas. What have you got? What do you guys have most looking forward to this convention? Meeting more new people. I love it. Yeah. I guess like gaining more like experience with like team building and stuff and like getting ideas from other people from around the United States. That sounds really great. Are you guys excited about Key Club um, convention this week? Yeah. That's why we're here. Like, what do you think you can bring from this convention going back home? Well, I'm uh, going to college next year, so I'm going to join Circle K and learn all about Circle K. She said basically what I wanted to say. <laughs> when did you first join Key Club? I first joined Key Club my freshman year, um, and I ever since I love like doing service organization such as Key Club and doing projects like volunteering uh, with my school and things like that. That's awesome. What's your favorite service project? My favorite service project is like probably doing anything related to my Kiwanis Club. And at my Kiwanis Club and Texas Garden, woo, we do um, pancakes also, like what we're doing now. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about your organization, Thirst Project? Thirst Project is the world's leading youth water activism organization. Well, what we do is we build freshwater wells in developing countries through students. So we travel the country and we speak to students for free, uh, middle school, high school, college students. And then we partner student communities with developing communities. Uh, what do you hope to get from this convention? 
Um, we're hoping to meet just amazing student leaders that are ready to change the world and ready to align with our cause and many other causes and yeah, just hopefully have a really positive experience. So I was sitting up by the sliding doors at the entrance in the lobby and one of the governors came up to me and said hi, but what did I know? The sliding doors moved, hit me, and I fell on the ground. That is so <laughs> embarrassing. Uh, I really like House of Delegates because it's cool watching everybody bash each other going back and forth. Oh, so far. Oh, so far. Me meeting the Canadians. I love the I love the Canadians. Canadians. Uh, have you been enjoying your trip at a key club convention so far? Um, yes. <laughs> so, uh, what's your favorite part of convention so far? I have loved filming Key TV and I've loved meeting all of the new people here. It's just been an amazing experience so far. How many people do you think I've met so far at this convention? More than I can count, honestly. I can't even imagine how many people I've met here. So what district are you from? I'm from New York, near Albany. I'm so excited to be here. Woo! So are you having fun so far at convention? I'm having so much fun. I can't wait till the rest of the days. That's lame. They're gonna be, like, be like, why are they interviewing themselves? <laughs> we're literally. We're, we're like, oh my god, whoa! Oh, <laughs> Where are you guys all from? Eastern Canada! Canada, oh, Canada is here! What is your guys' mascot? The Cardinals! Cardinals. Cardinal. The Canada Cardinal. Cardinals from ECD! We are the North, strong and free! ECD! 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 <laughs> Are you guys excited to be here? Yeah! Awesome! What are the all the SLPs of Kiwanis? Um, so there's Key Club, Circle K, Action Club, Builders Club, and K Kids. That's really good! Woo! So what is, what has been your most favorite part of Key Club convention so far? Really I've liked this whole pancake thing and having all the family come together. What has been the most funniest moment of Key Club convention you've had so far? Um, well, for the international board, we were backstage with the miniature horse. So seeing the miniature horse come on stage and seeing everyone's reaction was the funniest part. Are you enjoying your trip at Key Club Convention so far? Yeah, it was very memorable. Are you going to enjoy those pancakes also? Very much. <laughs> Have a nice day! Georgia District, and I can't wait to see all you awesome Key Clubbers this weekend and see what's going on with you. I hope you have a fun convention. All right, Jane, so um, I see you have pizza shoes on, and you know that pizza is actually Key Club's alter ego, so can you tell me a little bit more about the history of your shoes, where you got them, and how they relate to Key Club? Um, well, I got my shoes during like Thanksgiving weekend in New York. And then I've worn them on all my school trips and key club adventures this week. So like this weekend, I went to my first decon in them, my first icon, and it's exciting. Awesome. So are you excited for convention? I'm so excited. I've been waiting for so long to go to icon, and it's finally here. All right. Awesome. We'll have fun at the meet and greet and have fun in convention. All right. So what are your names, and where are you from? I'm Vietta from the New Jersey District. And I'm Zierra from the New Jersey District. And what are you most excited for this for the convention this season? Uh, seeing the new board elected and what their hopes are for the next year. I just want to meet people from around the world and just get the full Key Club experience. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful convention. I hope to see you guys around. Right, thank you. Bye. Hi, I am Reed, and I am a crab. <laughs> awesome. All right. Um, are you excited for a convention? I'm very excited. I, I am a crab, so I can't be more excited right now. Um, so what does service mean to you? Service means helping others and doing anything to make others feel better, I guess. All right, awesome. Thank you. And making others not feel crabby. I like that. Awesome, nice. awesome.
Recently, I was elected the governor of Indiana. As the governor of this fine state, I'm frequently offered the opportunity to share my wisdom with others. I was recently invited to act as the keynote speaker for the Key Club International Convention, which occurs in Indianapolis. I'm super excited to be a part of this thing. It has all my favorite elements, community service, empowered youth leadership, and electoral element. I'm a little disturbed by the entire event focused on pancakes, which everyone knows is an inferior breakfast food to waffles, but nobody is perfect. Retraction, Joe Biden. Nobody besides Joe Biden is perfect. I'm really stressed about my speech, though. I've been working all day, and so far all I've done is draw a family of ducks on this notepad. Everyone in the conference room now, this is an emergency, a code red emergency. I repeat, code red. As you all know, I've been working on my address for the Key Club International Convention. I really don't know what I'm going to say to these kids so they know how fortunate they are. As the two best connected people of the younger generation, I wanted your input. Donna, because of your impeccable style, and Tom, because you have the ability to fit into the clothing of most of the younger siblings. I wanted to start it as such. Good morn to you all. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Who says morn anymore? You sound like you got shook out of a Shakespearean play. Okay, all right, let me try again. I would like to cordially show my gratitude. Excuse me, I thought we were talking about teenagers, not the cast of Downton Abbey. What am I gonna do? I'm trying to show these kids how fortunate they are to be visiting the beautiful state of Indiana. Sounds like you need a break. You know what today is? Treat yourself. 2015. Once a year, Donna and I spend a day treating ourselves. What do we treat ourselves to? Clothes. Treat yourself. Fine drink wear. Treat yourself. Unique jewelry. Treat yourself. State of the art gadgets. Treat yourself. It's, it's the, the best, best day of the year. year. It's time to treat yourself, Governor Nope. Yeah. Okay, look. I know you're ticked about me finding out your secret Disney's Tangled obsession. It's a great piece of cinematic history. Know your secret's safe with me. To even it out, I'm gonna tell you all of my secrets. Oh no, that won't be necessary. I once forgot to brush my teeth for five weeks. I was never in Key Club. I didn't actually sell my last car, just forgot where I parked it. I don't know who Liz Moore is, and at this point I'm too afraid to ask. When they say 2% milk, I don't know what the other 98% is. When I was a baby, my head was so big they did experiments on me. That'll do, Andrew. So, how about you guys just first introduce yourselves and then like what um, district you're from? Hey, my name is Emma and I'm from Minnesota Dakotas district. I'm Robin from the same. <laughs> And then I'm Whitney, and I'm from Minnesota, Dakotas, too. What are you most excited about um, here in conv at convention? Um, just meeting new people. So. Meeting new people. Getting to party with all the awesome districts, and yeah, just the meet and greet is always the best. Okay, and how long did it take you to get here from your... Um, 15 hours total? 18 hours? 18 hours. <laughs> all right, well, I hope you guys have a wonderful convention. I hope to see you guys around. Thanks. Bye, thanks. I'm Adam Newton from the Pacific Northwest District. I'm Ryan McLaughlin from the Pacific Northwest District. How many districts are there in Key Club International, including districts in formation? I'm gonna go with 33. A lot. All right, well, the right answer is 34, but you were really close. All right, Very close. yeah, yeah. All right, who's the current Key Club International president? Maria Palazzolo. Yeah. All right, awesome, and we'll do one more. All right, where's the Key Club International office located? Woodview Trace, Indianapolis. Indianapolis. All right, first I want you guys to introduce yourselves and then what district you're from. Okay. I'm Katoffer, and I'm from Eastern Canada District. And I'm Danica, and I'm also from Eastern Canada. You, so we're going to ask you a couple questions, um, just like Key Club trivia, and see what you know. So how many districts are there in Key Club International, including districts in formation? You've been in this longer. Um, <laughs> not quite sure. I think there's, a, there's about 50? Is that right? Do you have a guess? I'm going to guess 51. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, actually, there's 34 districts. Very close, though. Um, who is our current Key Club International president? Maria Palazzozo. <laughs> Same. <laughs> and 
And then finally, um, what did you wait? What did you ask? Uh, where is the key? Um, club? Where is the Key Club International office? It's in um, Woodsview Terrace in Indianapolis. Goggin, what, what are you what are you wearing? <laughs> Jealous, right? I got all of this Lee merch at the Key Club store. Wait, there's a Key Club store where you can like buy all the stuff? Duh! It's at the Kiwanis World Showcase, right here in the convention center. So you can look fresh and clean, just like me. Yeah, so fresh. If you guys are interested, don't forget to check out the store from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. each day of convention. Rustic, what's going on tomorrow? If I have to choose what I think is going to no, be the best... No, you're supposed to tell them what's going on. I'd have to say the cake. Cake? At the Kiwanis Birthday Bash on Georgia Street at 4.30, I hear there's going to be cake. There's <gasps> cake, right? What about the House of Delegates at 9 p.m. or even the recognition session at 2 p.m.? You're not even a little excited about that? I'm more excited for the cake. Well, don't forget about the baseball game and fireworks show at the birthday bash. Hopefully, you'll get to enjoy that too. If you don't want to attend the party or eat the cake, we have the amazing student lounge with a coffee house theme. Students can come and perform or act and relax. The lounge will be open from 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. tomorrow. And even after all of that, there's going to be a Key Club Film Fest at 10 p.m. showcasing different club-made videos. Looks like tomorrow is going to be a busy day for everyone. So get some shut-eye key club because we'll all see each other tomorrow.